good luck. So we we started off on trail, and then as you, I don't know if you can hear, but it's actually starting to rain, hence the water droplets on the rifle bag cover. So I thought it might be a good idea to just talk about um, Fugasa. Now, I'm sure everyone has noticed on my backpacks that I have this logo on my backpack. Now, this stands for Field Guide Association of Southern Africa. And they are the kind of founding body or organization that have created a standard to guiding and guides in South Africa. So we go, we become members of Fugasa, you do their qualifications and their study process and their assessments and whatnot and you can build your qualifications and specialize in things that you have a passion for as a guide. So for me, it's tracking, it's trailing, walking, birding, those are the kind of things that I like to do. Others specialize in wildflowers, astronomy, uh, insects and even reptiles. So with Fugasa, there's another organization that we're also members of automatically and that would be CATSITA. Um, CATSITA, their standard of, uh, and their standard for guiding is at a much lower level than Fugasa. Fugasa's got a much higher standard and there's a more rigorous uh, examinations and practical examinations and theory workbooks and uh, practical hours in the field to attain their qualifications where CATSITA is a much easier qualification. But with Fugasa, Fugasa uh, encourage and promotes a more holistic experience towards guiding and guiding be by vehicle or even by walking. One advantage for Fugasa with their, their different levels of qualifications, because if you want to reach to the top, you have to go through each level to get there. And it causes or makes guides become not really not lazy. It causes them to push themselves to attain these higher qualifications and get more practical hours and write their exams and push themselves higher and higher. Uh, and the higher you get, the more more employable you become, uh, the more valuable you become as an employee for big companies uh, and big lodge owners. There's a lot of debate amongst. Pro, you know, people who are with Fogasa and people who are not with Fogasa, and how what does Fogasa give to me? And you know, and Fogasa over the years have always been changing and altering the qualifications and the, the, the standards to attain these things, which for some people can be very difficult. Others follow the rules and they've been following the rules their whole, whole guiding career. And for them to build up and keep up with what Fogasa do hasn't been too much of a big deal. Um, but there's a lot of debate on people who are like, oh, but Fugasa are not doing, are not doing, it's not good enough, or they're not helping me. Uh, I believe that Fugasa is a good thing. And at the moment, there's no other organization that competes with Fugasa. So if you want to be a professional guide, then it's, you have to go through Fugasa. So with Fugasa, I've been with Fugasa for the last 11 years. I was a, a student at a training provider. Uh, got my level one back then which was called level one two and three and it's changed over the years but over my 11 years I've achieved my Fugasa level three or professional tra professional field guide I have finished my professional trails guide which is the halfway mark between being a normal trails guide and a, a special knowledge and skills or SKS dangerous game guide uh, I'm a track level two and still doing lots of tracking to attain higher and higher for that um, and because I'm a level three and a professional field guide, I've specialized also in birding, um, what you call an SKS birder, uh, particularly only for the savannah biome, which is the predominant area that I guide in. And, you know, all of these things can be attained by and achieved by any guide. It's just, you've got to just put in the work. You've got to do your drives and between your drives or your walks or where you work, you've got to put in the extra time. You've got to go through the steps. If you want to attain certain qualifications or attain a certain level in the guiding community but basically it all cut it all boils, boils down to one thing you know we're all very passionate about what we do we're, we love being out here and doing this stuff and you just got to go out there and have fun if you don't have fun and you don't enjoy doing this then you're not going to grow we've I've met many of the big guides in the industry I've met a lot of new guides in the industry and you could be new, you could be old, and it doesn't matter if you're new or old, you could be bad and good. It just depends on your passion and it depends on your morale of what you want to achieve out here. But also not only achievement, but like I said, it's about having fun. Go out and have fun. And I love 
my tracking. I love being put out in the bush, go walking for hours, sweating under the sun and you know tracking and scratching my head and getting all frustrated. It's part of the, the thing I love about being out here. So I thought of making this video just to give some clarity of uh, what Fogasa is and what kind of qualifications I have through Fogasa. If you are a guide in the area I'd love to hear in the comments what qualification you're aiming for next and actually if you're not a guide and you're interested in becoming a guide leave in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help you. Well that's the end of the video I think the rain is gonna stay here for a while so we're gonna wrap up the video here uh, I hope this helps let me know and I'll see you I'll see you folks in the next one. Take care. Cheers.